the town of Shikaoi in the Tokachi region of Hokkaido. Situated in the northwestern part of the Tokachi Plains, it has a thriving dairy and crop farming industry. Being sprayed from nozzles on this vast plot of farmland is pesticide. Surprisingly, no one is driving the tractor. This is a practical trial for the automation of farming equipment. The amount of pesticide depends on the crop. So, for example, if the spraying speed changes, the amount needs to be adjusted. Around the world, this is probably the only sprayer that can do that. The experiment is being carried out by a consortium of major agricultural equipment maker, Yanmar, universities and others. The aim is to automate cabbage growing. With the chronic shortage of farmers, they want to automate all of the processes from culturing soil to harvesting. The most difficult challenge and the last obstacle to their objective was harvesting. With manual labor, harvesting an area of 1,500 square meters requires five to six people working the entire day, consuming both manpower and time. About 10 years ago, Yanmar and other manufacturers developed harvesting machines that reduced the time spent by half, but... Can you see it? Cabbages have these stalks, and the machines have to precisely line up to this length of several tens of a millimeter to collect them, which is very difficult. Cabbage stalks are hidden by leaves and not visible from the driver's seat. If the cabbage itself is damaged, it can't be put on the market. Acquiring the necessary skills to operate the tractor is said to take years. With the shortage of farmers, securing seasoned professionals during harvests is no easy task. How can they automate cabbage harvesting that even people struggle with? Cameras are equipped on the top and the side of the machine. The side camera monitors the cabbage's height and distance to the machine, and the top camera, the lateral alignment. From the video, artificial intelligence estimates the position of the stalks to control the movements. Getting artificial intelligence to learn from a vast amount of image data is similar to other AI technologies. But there are also unique challenges, such as the inability to recognize cabbages when there are changes in the light due to the time of day and weather. At one point, we realized that the lower part was in the shade, so there was little change due to sunlight. It's actually very difficult for AI to make a mistake if it's only taught to recognize the lower half. They improved the precision by narrowing what AI learned by focusing on relatively consistent images of the lower half of the cabbages not in sunlight. What's more, the travel route of the machinery from soil cultivation to planting and harvesting was standardized. By cleanly planting the cabbages in the middle of the furrows, they were able to minimize the difficulties in harvesting. Automated driving at a speed no different from that of seasoned operators was made possible. They plan to implement the same technologies in Napa cabbage and broccoli growing. Shipments of self-steering systems for agriculture have surged in recent years. 70% of them have been to Hokkaido, with its extensive farmland and high per capita crop acreage. Yanmar is positioning Hokkaido as a model for automation technologies and plans to gradually deploy them nationwide. If the harvesting of crops such as cabbages and rice becomes automated, it may solve the worker shortage. At the same time, the implementation costs of smart agricultural equipment remains high, so it's necessary to minimize the cost, such as by diversifying uses to other crops and equipment sharing.